I'm sharing the story of how I fixed this Epson SuperTank STC2100 printer I purchased online for about half of retail price. Please leave a comment if this helped fix your printer. Tips for Tech Troubles, Episode 3. Alright, so this is the big one. This is the Epson Super Tank STC2100. Uh, unfortunately, it's entry level, but you know, with the prices being gouged, I, it was all I could afford. I decided to save, so it was ish at 175 versus 300 for new. The print speed isn't that great, and hopefully, the quality will be good and the cost per page will be low. It was the entry level printer that I thought I would go with because. Everything else was being overpriced and you know, was the most affordable, decent color to get with low cost per page. So we've got they're durable enough to ship a printer. That's pretty impressive. The color was from C up from New York and the other shipping address is Arkansas. Interesting. That's pretty dumb. They cut out the address label and ooh. She might have been moving around in there. This is why I record at re-unboxing I ever use. See, there's a piece that smells kind of perfumey. Now, down in the bottom of the box is that piece. What is this? And yeah, it broke off, man. It broke off. Okay, that was a little discouraging. I would have taped it down better. Okay, that's input. We got uh, these pieces floating around inside the box. That could be a really bad sign. Power cord's a little bent up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try to power it up. See what we've got going on here? I'm going to do a factory reset, I think. kind of worried about this. Let's get a uh, supply usage out of this thing with just regular paper. So once again, the printer is not operating correctly um, according to these printouts. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna run cleaning we're going to run a nozzle check. The nozzle check indicates potential clogging, so we're going to go ahead and run nozzle cleaning. We're now running nozzle cleaning, and it's clean. So it claims that'll take about three minutes. Better, better, maybe still not good enough. Yeah, see, I'm gonna have to, that's better. I'm gonna run it again. Better, better, may need one more cleaning. Yeah, she's getting better. Yes, yes.
It's getting better. I think I'm gonna have it do an extreme cleaning. Oh, well, let's just run. We'll run the three three times on the standard head cleaning. We made it. Lines look good. Okay, now I'm gonna hook it up to a computer and see what kind of output we get. No missing segments. Okay. We'll go ahead and do print head alignment and just see how that's looking, uh, which is both vertical and horizontal. Select the number on the next screen with the least line. Two. Definitely two. Number two with the least lines, seven. Number three with the least lines, all the way down is seven. Yeah. Number four is still seven. Number five, seven. Number six. Seven, number seven, seven. Okay, print head alignment, horizontal alignment. Okay, this is faster, it looks like. Choose rectangles that are not separated or overlapped. Well, they all look the same to me. I don't know, it all looks the same. All right, we're gonna do a copy. Lots of colors on this thing, so I wanna see that they come through all right. But it did copy. Seen printers that were like 20 plus years old do better than that. So I hope it can do better, especially printing from the PC. We're looking for something better than this. This is standard and in my opinion it's it's awful. Could be worse, but it's just not very good. So I'm hoping, and this is just normal paper, so. It's probably gonna curl if it's on high and it's probably gonna use more ink, but that's okay. We gotta run this machine through its paces. It's kind of a wave in that paper, but for an inkjet, Getting that, that faint text, that's not bad at all. On standard paper, so I think that's all right. But it's working, so. I fixed the printer and received a $15 partial refund from the seller. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications.